Hi, my name is Devin Workman from Scrub, a division of HHB Communications. In this video, we will continue to look at the new Avid S6 control surface. User programmable soft keys are a powerful feature with Yukon enabled control surfaces, and the S6 is no exception. I'll show you how they can give you fast control of menu, editing, and automation functions in your audio workstation. The Avid S6 includes 60 user assignable soft keys. 30 soft keys are located on the master touch module, and 30 are on the master automation module. Soft keys are a powerful feature of the S6 because they can put virtually any Yukon function on the surface of the console. They are also user programmable, so you can tailor the surface to your workflow by putting the keys you use most within easy reach. When working in Pro Tools, the default application set of the S6 includes many of the main functions that you commonly need to access. For example, I can open up my large counter to get a better view. I can access different editing tools. I can go into trim mode or select, or I can access my grabber tool. A Yukon button will give you feedback on the surface to represent the function that you have selected in the DAW. Let's look at automation on the surface. I've now switched into one of my automation pages. First, I would like to choose the channel that I would like to automate, which will be BG1. I can then set the automation mode that I need. There are multiple ways to do this on the surface. I could select Latch and select the channel to change the mode. I could select multiple channels and select Due to Selected and put them into Touch Latch. And choose do to all and put all of my session into read but in this case let's put this channel back into latch mode i will now enable preview after choosing what i would like to change i can see from my automation window that i have volume and plugins selected i can choose to enable additional parameters to automate but i'll choose not to enable pan or mute and just stick with my volume enable and my plugin enable i am in latch prime and I could select to set a level on that selected channel. I will now go into solo for that channel. I can also select EQ and make changes to the EQ from the MTM. Once I set the parameter to where I am happy, I can select write to selected and then stop to write the automation to the selected area. The Avid S6 is application aware, which extends to the soft keys as well. If I toggle over to Nuendo, you can see that the soft keys update, giving me functions that are available specific to Nuendo. For example, I can use this when I want to edit. I can toggle Auto Select Events under the cursor. I can then use the jog wheel as a position tool to be able to choose what it is I'd like to edit. Let's select this clip. And I'll zoom in for a better view. I could then select to trim the tail. I can adjust my fade in time. I can move this clip horizontally or I can even slip the audio and adjust the gain, all from using the jog wheel and soft keys. Let's zoom back out again and adjust my position. I'll select this clip over here. Let's zoom in a little. I can then scrub on my timeline, choose where I would like to edit, and select Split Playhead. I can then select the event and cut. I'll then move to another track. And paste my selection on that track. I've been able to do all of this without touching a keyboard or mouse by using only the soft keys and the jog wheel. Thanks for watching. For more information about the Avid S6, please visit hhb.co.uk. To arrange your S6 demo, please contact HHB or Scrub.